Hey, what's going on guys? Reaper here with Reaper's Papa Son Supply. So there are several of you here that are going to be getting your reproduction M1955 flax in the mail over the coming weeks and months. So I decided to go ahead and make this video to show you guys how to install your plates when the flax jacket arrives. Um, basically what I did and decided to do is ship the M1955s with the plates removed. The reason for that is it allows me to get everything in a pretty good reasonably sized box roughly about this size or so um, that helps keep your guys shipping costs down so it's quite a bit easier because if I were to ship the flat jacket with the plates in it man you'd be you'd be getting a big old box and your shipping would be just way up there about the same price as it would cost to buy a, an original uh, in 1955 and have it shipped and the downside to that is, well, they're they're big, they're bulky, and you can't take them apart. And they weigh about mm, 12, 13 pounds for an original, depending on the size. Uh, my reproductions weigh a couple pounds less than an original. So you're still looking at the weight factor there, and the bigger box you get into that's not a flat rate is going to run quite a bit more. But anyway, guys, I know a lot of you, when you get your M1955 in the mail, you're going to be super excited. You're going to tear open that box and you're going to be like, what the hell? Don't panic. Yeah, installing the plates is super quick, super easy. It, it, you know, it's really self-explanatory too, but I'm going to show you in this video real quick. So that way you guys kind of know what to look forward to and the easiest way to go ahead and install the plates when you get them. Pop them in there, man, and you're ready to go. One, two, one, one, six, one. All right, guys, so as you can see here, there are several plates in a plate carrying system for the M1955s. Now, when I made these, I designed them basically off of the original plate system of an M1955 flat. I just changed some things up a little bit. That way, it's easier to add and or remove your plates at any time. And this kind of helps people who are uh, outside of the United States that would like to have a reproduction in 1955 or just a, re just a in 1955 period. Um, the unfortunate thing is buying an original is costly and then having it shipped outside of the U.S. is for certain countries roughly the same as it would cost to buy the whole flag jacket. So I give people kind of an option where they can buy without the plates and make and add their own plates or buy the plate carrying system and make their own plates to put in the system so it really cuts them down a lot on shipping costs as well so through small through medium there's roughly 23 plates in each flat jacket uh, getting up into a large you're looking at roughly 26 25 somewhere in there so what they are is You've got the bottom, the middle, and what I consider the top, which is kind of the mid, upper, back. And then you have two single plates, which go right around the breastplate area. So the middle and the bottom are basically a two-plate system. This, they overlap each other just slightly. But anyway, guys, what I usually like to do is go ahead and add either the two breastplates first or the rear upper plate first. Um, either the two does not matter, but uh, we'll start with the two front breast plates. Now, with an original M1955 flak, this area right here is usually stitched together about like that. It's just a small half inch stitch. Um, I left mine open to allow and help with easy installation and removable plates. Now, if you get your flak jacket and you decide that you just want to keep your plates in, uh, and not worry about taking them out. You can easily stitch that up. It takes a couple minutes to do. So, you can open up the bottom here, and again, it's kind of the same thing. Just like with an original, they were stitched in these points. And instead, I'm running Velcro. That way you can close up your, uh, your flag jacket, no problem with your plates in it. It stays together, moving around. And you can, of course, open it up and remove them at any time. So, Mm. 
Now the breastplates are a little bit harder and probably what will happen when I ship the flap jackets. Uh, the breastplates will already be installed in the flap jacket. That way that's one less thing you guys have to do. Um, I'm still able to easily fold up the flap jacket and put the plates in the same box with no problem. It's just when the whole plate system is together inside the flap jacket it makes for uh, a pretty rough time getting it in a smaller box. Alright guys, now what I like to do when installing the, uh, the larger inner plates, I usually start with the upper back piece and I go from corner to corner. That way when you attach it to the Velcro, you can just step it down and follow it. That kind of eliminates, once you put it on, looking at it and seeing all these, these weird creases and wrinkles in it where the Velcro overstepped itself. So anyway, that one's in. Now, the next one you might want to do, and it, it's entirely up to you. You play with it when you get it. You decide which way you want to do it. There again, if you're only going to be doing it once, then you don't have to worry about it. Um, it's easier to go ahead and just step on down. Now, with these, these become a little more difficult. Since you don't have quite as much room, you have to the panel up in here and made it up with the Velcro. Now with the originals they come out just about to the edge right here so when you do this you want to get that corner in there and then just start kind of stretching out the flat vest as much as possible to straighten up the velcro and then continue just to attach it. Now, there again, corner to corner. When I say that, bring, I'll do one side of the plate system first, and then when it comes to that bungee area, I'll switch it back over and go to the next side. The reason for this is it just kind of helps line the plates up on each side where they need to be. Just check it. See where you're at. There you guys can see it's first half of it. Now the bottom is a little bit easier because all you got to do is bring it into the corner here and it seats itself in that corner and mates right up with the Velcro. Kind of see the line that you got to follow here. There you guys have it. Just tuck it on up in there. Seal up your bottom. Pick up your flag. The plates all seat where they need to seat. Hang where they need to hang. And you're good to go. There she is. Alright guys. There you go, that's the installation of the M1955 flat plates. It's really not that hard. It takes roughly 10 or so minutes uh, from start to finish. Uh, like I said, when I ship them, when I ship them out, um, I'll ship them out more than likely with the upper breast plates in, uh, the upper back, middle back, and lower back, all the way around, I'll ship outside of the flak jacket and 
they're pretty easily foldable, so they'll kind of slip right into the box with the flak jacket. Like I said, guys, that makes things a lot easier on you and saves you guys quite a bit on shipping. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful, guys. When you get your M1955s, I hope you guys love them. Man, I hope you go out and you thrash them, you wear them just like you would have if you were actually serving in the Marine Corps in Vietnam. I, that's that's what it's all about because I know a lot of guys, especially myself, I've destroyed a lot of original gear and a couple M1955 flax are on that list and I hated myself for it. Um, that's part of the reason I decided to jump in and go ahead and reproduce M1955 flax. Not just for myself, but for all you Marine Corps reenactors out there guys, that is awesome. Um, graffiti them up, thrash them, do what you guys need to do to them. Enjoy them, love them, and don't be afraid to ding them up. Um, <clears throat> furthermore, guys, I can't wait to see your reviews, your photos, and anything else you got to say after you get the M1955 flax. I, I'm, I'm totally looking forward to all your guys' feedback. And, man, it's been a pleasure being able to make these for you guys. So, if you're next on the list, get ready, guys, because it's coming. Reaper out.